if you're watching this for the Bigfoot sighting, that will be at the end of the video. I'm finally getting to this privacy fence that was damaged in the February storms. I'll be reusing as much of the wood as I can, but a lot of this section was crushed by a tree. This is a good week to do this project. We've got nice weather, and next week it is supposed to start raining again. The first thing I'm gonna do is get rid of some of the broken pieces and then do a little disassembly before I can rebuild the fence.
probably can't tell from this angle, but when the tree hit the fence, it knocked that post that's in concrete a little bit off square. So I'm a little disappointed. There's really not much I can do. The fence is gonna have a kind of a kind of a, a weird little bend right there. It's just something I'll have to live with. When I first built this fence, I used kind of a fancy jig that I made out of a two by two to hang right between all the board slats. I disassembled that and used it as scrap wood a while back. So I'm just gonna use a little piece of two by four, which is the same width, and just kind of hold it in place to get the spacing right for the boards. The most important thing for me is to keep the top of the boards aligned. So the way I did it the last time is the same way I'll do it this time. I'm gonna put a longer two by four across the four by four posts and then just line them up as I go. Here's that little bend in the fence that I was talking about. When the tree took out this fence, it also knocked over some of these cedar trees that we're using as a hedge between our properties. They're still alive. I don't know if they're gonna make it long-term, but I figure it can't hurt to stake them back up. At least, they'll look better than they do now.
I just saw a little bird's nest in one of these cedar trees. Took a quick picture, I'll share that with you in a little bit. Because that twine is so tight holding up the cedars, I'm going to slip on some hose pieces as sleeves to spread out the surface area that's cutting into the trunks. It's the thin layer of trunk that transports all of the water and nutrients up to all the branches, and I just didn't want to pinch the trees more than I had to. I'll cut a slit along the outside curve of the hose to easily slip them onto the twine. Here's that little bird's nest with the eggs, safe and sound. Among the debris brought down by the February storms was this big piece of wood. It already looks like a big foot, but I think I'll carve out the toes a little bit just to make it a little bit better. So that's what it ended up looking like. I think this is where I'll keep it too. It's a good spot for it, right at the access point to our forest ravine. There's pun potential here. Something about putting your best foot forward, or maybe Bigfoot is all left feet. Sherlock Holmes would probably say there's something afoot indubitably <clears throat> I know it's safety first around here so you should watch your step on these stairs it's kind of fun a little whimsical I think it'll fit in well around here